Welcome to this section on text preprocessing. In this section, we are going to perform different tasks to convert our dataset into a consistent form. In the previous sections, we got the dataset, structured it, and performed different machine learning techniques on it. However, we were not concerned about the nature of data in the datasets. Datasets are usually not clean and have lots of problems, and therefore, if we structure them straight away and perform machine learning techniques on them, they are going to have lots of irrelevant features, and therefore, the model is not going to perform well. In text preprocessing, we want to normalize our text and remove the unwanted words and characters and reduce the number of features to make them more meaningful. There are certain common steps that we can perform at text preprocessing. Normalization is the process of converting textual data into its basic normal form that we can use. So, some of the commonly used approaches for text normalization or preprocessing are converting the text to lowercase, removing white spaces, removing stop words, stemming, and limitization. Now, if we consider this as our data set, that has few spaces, then this with the capital T is my dummy dataset period space. It is part of a taught course on text mining period and then few spaces. Now, the first thing we would like to do is to convert this dataset into the lower case. We could have used the upper case also, but we want to convert it into a single case where this with capital T and this with small t should not be considered as two different features and we want them to be combined together. So therefore, all the dataset is being converted into a lower case. The characters that you see in, in yellow are actually the ones that are converted from the upper case to the lower case. Next, we would like to remove the unwanted white spaces. Uh, the spaces are important because they separate words from each other. However, the extra spaces before and after the text are meaningless and therefore, and therefore we would like to get rid of them. There are certain words that are frequently used and uniformly scattered across different documents and therefore they are not going to help much towards prediction and we would like to remove them as stop words. Now if we apply removing stop word on this data set that we have partially pre-processed over here, we are going to get rid of is my. So this sentence is going to be converted into this dummy data set and then it taught course. So in this way is part and on is also going to be removed as stop words. Now some would argue that this and it is also a stop word. However, it's slightly subjective in the sense that based on the stop word list we are using, whatever is being mentioned in that list is going to be considered as stop words and everything else is not. There are certain words that are used in different forms like sometimes as a verb, sometimes as a noun. However, the general sense they give is almost the same. So we would like to reduce them to a basic form so that all those different variations can be used as a single feature. Now, Stemming and limitization does this for us. However, their role is slightly different. In case of stemming, we chop off some part of the word so that we can reduce a word to its basic form. However, in case of limitization, we still reduce the word to its basic form. However, that may not necessarily be due to chopping or clipping off some part of the word. Now, if we apply stemming on this data set, uh, this is being reduced to THI and dummy is again reduced to dummy with I and course has its E removed and mining is being reduced to mine. Now, if you see over here, mine is the only word that is being properly reduced to its basic form while the others are being converted into non-word tokens. The point here is that stemming or any other kind of technique that is being applied on natural language are designed for the majority cases. And since natural language is so diverse and there are almost exceptions for any case, so it, it's hardly possible to capture all the cases of the natural language. So therefore, these solutions are not 100% accurate. However, when applied, they are going to perform quite well and are going to reduce the number of features considerably. Limitization, as we can see over here, the word taught is being reduced to its basic form teach. However, it does not include any clipping of some part of the word. These are some of the most frequently used text normalization techniques. And in the, in the following lectures of this section, we are going to look into some more normalization or text preprocessing techniques and we will look into its implementation as well. So stay tuned.